this bit at the top with buttons and uh, LCD-like display. It's called the control bar. Uh, it used to be called maybe the transport in other programs. Um, some fairly obvious buttons and some that aren't so obvious. But to be honest, you're not going to do any damage with these just by clicking something and seeing what happens, just like this, the uh, smart controls button. Uh, none of these actually do anything to your project, so go ahead and see what they do. Something that's worth dwelling on just before we move on. This is the LCD display. Uh, if I click on this button, I can change the view. Uh, I can make it much more basic just by displaying what the time code is at that moment. Maybe if you're doing some video uh, composition or something like that. But I can also uh, use the custom display. The custom display tells me lots and lots of information. Um, one of the things that's uh, really useful about this is this button, button here. It's the division that's visible. This is obviously the time signature, the number of beats, and the, the value of those beats. This is the division between them. So at the moment, uh, it's on 16th. If I scroll in, it will be these individual uh, bits here that are hidden if I zoom out. But if I zoom in, those are 16th or semiquavers. If I click them, I can make them... 48, I can make them much more specific, um, which can be useful if you're doing snapping, just something to be aware of. Um, in general, the custom one is really good. If I right click on this, I can click on customize control bar and display. Obviously, the custom one is customizable. If I click on beats and time, that, that's just the default display. Custom, I can choose whether I'm going to have various speed, sample rate, all these uh, key signature, all the other things that I could do. If your screen is small, like on my MacBook here, or maybe you've just got too many buttons on the control bar, you will see these little uh, two chevron things. If you click on them, it will show you all of the buttons that aren't currently visible. So, for example, if I had this on uh, Beats and Time instead, those some of those buttons would be visible and there would be fewer things on uh, that drop-down menu. shouldn't be a massive problem on the iMacs, but it could be if you had more than uh, the number of buttons that can be displayed at once. That's a quick introduction to the control bar. There's lots more to look at that I will deal with in other videos.